Tonight, a chicken chain showing their thanks for a local student's quick thinking when a customer started choking. And tonight, we're going back to Raising Cane's to show what the restaurant did. And we're seeing the victim and hero together for the first time. The night team's Erin Coogan reports from Johnston. Honestly, if she wasn't there, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened. Nearly two weeks later, Anthony Rapucci of Providence says he frequently recalls the terrifying moments. A stop at Johnston's newest fast food chain, Raising Cane's, could have cost him his life. Like she said, I was salivating, I was wheezing, choke, like I re realizing I'm choking. I look over to the family next to me and they realize I'm choking. They yell, this man's choking. And then Kyron and... And it was your classic case of he bit off more than he could chew. The dining room fuller than it is here tonight. Kaya recalling it was at this table that she sprung into action. I was standing behind that barrier and I saw a little boy standing there with his mother. And then when they said he's choking, I came around and then I asked him what was going on and then I helped him up. Kaya Elwell is a senior at Cherho High School. Utilizing Heimlich maneuver training learned at school, she says her dreams of becoming a nurse were solidified that night. Today, the Chicken Finger franchise did its part to help that dream. <laughs> Surprising the teen and her family with a $10,000 scholarship check to kickstart her medical education. Next year, I'm going to Southern Connecticut State University, where hopefully I will be in the nursing program as well as I'm playing lacrosse. Kaya surrounded by friends and family and for the first time since the incident, meeting Anthony. In Johnston, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News 19. Kaya is going to be 